What's up, Internet? My name is Michael Cook, and this is Blue Giant Media. We're here to help you find, learn, and play the games that you love. Today, we're going to take a look at what's inside the box of Dice Forge by Regis Bonasse and published by Libelude. Alright, so right away, I'll say that the box for Dice Forge, it, it kind of, I see it two different ways. Sometimes I look at it, my eyes focus on all the white, the marble background, and it looks kind of bland. And sometimes my eyes kind of, I, I pull back my perspective and focus on the whole box, and it is, it's, it's pleasant. So, uh, mixed feelings right off the bat for the box for me, but I do think it does look nice overall. Now when you open the game up, you're going to see two rule books. Um, the back of this one has a rules reference and it has kind of an explanation of a lot of the different locations that you can go. The only thing that I thought was weird is instead of this just being a rules reference sheet, it is the only place that you can find this. So inside this rule book, which opens odd <laughs> in a different manner, uh, it doesn't actually explain all of those locations. You can only really find that inside of this what I would think of as a reference sheet. So, a little bit weird. Then you're going to see some punch boards. It's got your player mats and some different tokens that you're going to be punching out. And then inside here you've got this, which looks a little bit funky, but what it's going to be used for is this game, it's produced in such a way that when you put everything away the first time, it's going to be able to be set up pretty much immediately in future place. So this will actually stay like this when you put the game away and some of the tokens that we see will be filling those empty spots. Then this will be opened up and set beside the board when you're playing. We have some cards. We have the dice that you will be forging. Some player pawns for keeping score some resource um, tracking cubes that you're going to use in your player mats to kind of move around through those empty little cutout spaces to mark how much you have of different resources. And then all the different die faces that you're going to be popping in and out to forge your dice. And finally, the box insert, which I really have to say is extremely well done. And you'll see that as we put the, the, uh, the game away here towards the end. So now I'm going to take a moment and cut away while I punch out some bits. Okay. So we've got not a whole lot to punch out here, just some tokens, a couple little bits here, some score markers, player boards and player board extensions. Alright, so now you can walk along with me as I go through this. And if you want, you can go ahead and skip through a little bit, but I'm going to take the time to construct this so that it all goes back in the box the way that it's supposed to. So we will start by moving some of these things out of the way and taking these tokens, we're marking resources, we'll put them in here, and then player pawns set in here, These victory point tokens, okay, and then these Two tokens. Look like they're going to go right there. These other tokens look like they will go right there. These little guys. Go right here. These dice. 
looks like we will set them aside because I'm going to be putting the starting basic die faces on those before I put everything away. Alright. Player board extensions. Alright, so now I've gotten the basic die faces put on here. So you can see the dice are, it's pretty cool, got some pretty cool toy quality to it. A little bit of a, or the toy factor. And whenever you want to change these out, the rules recommend using these, just using whichever one you buy it as. And this is my first time trying this, so I don't want to force anything, but. So it takes a, a little bit of touch. I, I don't want to force it, but anyway, then we take these and you'll see that each, uh, there are two different shadings of these dice. You see that one is a little bit of a darker color than the other. And that's just for the sake of making sure that when you start the game, you have two slightly different starting dice. After that, the color doesn't matter at all. So those will all go here, so that on setup you just grab one of each and you're ready to go. Alright, the next thing it says to do, oh yeah, and I also put the cards in here. You can see the cards have very nice art. A lot of good uh, mythological content there from Greek mythology. These are going to set in there. Then this will sit right on top to hold all those things in place. The next thing we're going to do is take this. We will unsleeve and we are going to go ahead and put all of this together now. All right, now we've got all the die faces in here. So now what we do to put it away, and you can see on here, it shows you where everything is supposed to go. And you just take this. Oh, well, let's keep it real. It happens, so. Something to be aware of about the fiddliness of this game. It is a reality. It's not the kind of game where you want someone to bump you as you are playing. Okay, but that's why they have this sleeve and this band here. So that once it's put away, nothing is going to move. So now everything is set in there, like it's supposed to. I guess it's a little bit flatter if you put this little knot on this side, it seems. Then, take these rules. A little knot there definitely does get in the way a little bit, though. But now, it's ready for quick setup. Now you know what's inside the box of Regis Bonasse's Dice Forge, published by Libelud. If you want to know how to set up the game, how the first couple rounds of play look, or if you want to watch a review of the game, we'll be adding links to that to the description below. You'll also find a link there to macronovagames.com where you can buy this game and many others. If you want us to unbox, set up, go through a couple rounds of play, or review any other games, let us know what you want to see in the comment section below and we'll get to those videos as fast as we can. If you want to buy a game that Macronova Games doesn't have in stock, let them know and they'll add it to the store as fast as they can. Until next time, I want to thank you very much for watching and remind you that when the dice don't roll your way, just keep forging ahead. Have a wonderful day!